Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to be showing you how to download BitTorrent files on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So if you don't already know what BitTorrent is, it's basically a file sharing method that is very common on the internet. So the way that this works is that you have an uploader, also known as a seeder, and this person is somebody who distributes the file to other downloaders. So the downloaders are known as leechers. So once the uploader has completely uploaded the file to the leechers, then the leechers also become uploaders or seeders as well of that file. So it means that a file can be distributed very quickly across a network. So the tricky part is getting the right software to download the torrent file and then take part in this file transfer protocol. So the software I recommend using is called Qubit Torrent. It is completely free and does not contain any ads, unlike other BitTorrent softwares. I'll leave a link to this website in the description. All we need to do once we get to this website is click on the download tab here, and then I'm going to scroll down and then download the last stable version of Qubit Torrent for Mac. So I'm going to click on this DMG file here, then I'm going to select the last Qubit Torrent Mac OS X stable file. Once that file downloads, I'm going to open up the DMG. And then I'm going to select the Qubit Torrent and then drag it into the applications folder. Then I'm going to open up my applications folder in Finder and then double click on Qubit Torrent. If it's giving you this error that it's coming from an unidentified developer, just press OK and then press Control and then click on the file itself and then click Open. And then we can click the Open button here. All we need to do now is to click Agree on this window here. And now we have the Qubit Torrent window open. So BitTorrenting is often associated with illegal file sharing. However, there are many legitimate uses for BitTorrenting. So what I'm going to do is to show you how to download a BitTorrent file. So this section here is the BitTorrent link to the Linux operating system Ubuntu, and this has been distributed through BitTorrent. So when I've come to the BitTorrent section of this website, I can mouse over the link. And it's telling us here at the bottom of the browser that this is a .torrent file. So this is the kind of file that we want. So I'm going to click on this file here. And what it's done is that it's downloaded the torrent file itself. So what I'm going to do is to click on this torrent file and this is automatically associated with the Qubit torrent application and it's already asking us where to download the Ubuntu file. So all we need to do at this stage is to click OK. I'm also going to show you how to open this file manually as well. So if this .torrent association is not correct, what you can do is to open Qubit torrent, go to file, add torrent file here. And if I navigate to my downloads folder, I'll find this .torrent file here and I'll press open and we'll have the same window come up. So what I'm going to do is to leave the default file path and then I'm going to do allow the torrent to start. So that because this box is checked, when I click OK, the torrent file will begin. So you can see here that the torrent file has already started downloading. So this is the copy of Ubuntu. 2.62 gigabytes and this is the progress. Here it's showing us how many seeders we're being connected to. So we are downloading small chunks from 65 out of 469 possible seeders. But we also have eight peers too. So that basically means that we're downloading the file and of the chunks that I've already downloaded, we're also uploading to nine peers out of 10. To see where this file is located, we can control click on the file and then click on open destination folder. And this is gonna bring us to the file as it's downloading. So this currently is a file in progress. I know it's saying that it's 2.79 gigabytes in size already, but we haven't done it that much. That just means it's been pre-allocated. Once this completes, we'll be able to use this file as it was intended. So there is another scenario where you want to download what is called a magnet link. So a magnet link is a type of torrent link where there is no actual file to be downloaded. It is simply a link which you paste into the torrent client. So for example, on this Zooka website, we have the Ubuntu operating system being distributed here, and there is no actual file to download. There is only a magnet link. So if you look at the actual link at the bottom of this browser, you can see that there's no actual file there. It's just a magnet colon. So if I click on this link, it's gonna ask me whether I want to open the magnet link with Qubit Torrent, and I can click open Qubit Torrent and the file will load here. Also what I can do is control click on the magnet link and then click the copy link address. And then within Qubit Torrent, I can go to file and then add torrent link. So torrent link is just the way that it describes the magnet link. It's already pasted my clipboard from what I've copied earlier. And if I click download, it's going to open the Ubuntu file download here. And this is just gonna act almost as if it's a normal torrent file. So if I click on okay now, it's gonna start downloading Ubuntu. And this is going to be the magnet link version of the file instead of a dot torrent file itself. They perform almost identically. However, sometimes you'll be asked to download a magnet file instead of a dot torrent file. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.